Hello everyone and welcome to Building Web Applications. My name is Steve Bishop from ProgrammingMadeEasy.com. Today, we're going to be talking about comments. Comments are little pieces of text that you can put in your document to basically display just to the developer. They're not intended for the user of your website to see. Now, typically we use comments for a few different reasons. We could be using them to indicate some sort of intent with the code. So we're telling ourselves or maybe perhaps other developers why we're writing that particular section. We can leave notes for other developers or even ourselves to kind of help remind us of maybe what we want to do next in a particular section of the application. And then also we can temporarily block out any bad code. So if there's something that's going wrong and you just kind of want to take a moment or temporarily take out some line of code and see if that fixes it, you can use comments to just kind of block out some code. And that's only if you don't want to delete the code. You don't want to delete it because you might need to have it back in a little bit later and you're just kind of testing things out. Now, I would like to warn you that you should use comments very, very sparingly because typically when you're making code, when you're writing code, you're going to be fixing the code all the time. But it's very rare that people remember to also go back and fix their comments. So you may make a change to your code, but forget to make a change to your comment. And now your comment is out of date and indicates something completely different than what the code is doing. And that leads me to a pretty famous quote that was said by Robert C. Martin or Uncle Bob. Code never lies, but comments often do. So again, use comments very sparingly. They should not be littered throughout your application. I should mention though that this is an opinion. There are a lot of companies that basically require you to add comments to your code. And if that's the case and your company requires it, then by all means, go ahead and do it. But as a general rule, I typically try to avoid comments as much as possible. So how do you write a comment? Well, in HTML, let's say that you have a couple of paragraphs and you'd like to indicate something in a comment between those two paragraphs. You'll notice that we have the open angle bracket followed by the exclamation point and two hyphens. And then any text that goes between that opening uh, hyphen and the two dashes, and then the trailing dashes with the closing angle bracket, that will be commented out. So if we were to take a look at this code on the page, it would actually look like this, where the comment is not visible on the screen. So we'd see the paragraph content goes here, another paragraph goes here, but in between where we have that comment, nothing would appear on the screen. Now the developer could go back and take a look at what the HTML code actually is and see what the comment says, and that's good for developers, but the viewer that's using the application would not see it. Let's do a little bit of some work with comments in our application. So here in our index.html document, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a comment here between our div and our pre, okay? So right here in between, I'm gonna add a comment. Now I can add as many lines to this comment as I want, so long as they fall between the open angle bracket exclamation point and the two hyphens followed by the closing hyphens and angle bracket. So I can put as many lines here as I want. So I can have one line goes here and then I can even do another one down here and say something like another line goes here. And you can see the Visual Studio Code IDE is even picking up that this is commented out and that's why it's green. It gives us this little color indication here to let us know that these are comments and will not be visible on the page. So uh, I'm, I can even move this down to another line if I wanted to or kind of tab things over just to make things look a little nicer if I wanted to. And we can save this and then go back to our browser and do a refresh and remember right here between our, our, our pre, right, this pre tag and our div, so right after the e equals mc squared and the pre-formatted text, we have our comment somewhere in here. So if we refresh, we can see that nothing has really changed on the page. 
And the comment is there, and I can prove this to you by once again, just I can just right click here and say uh, view source or inspect element. I'm going to do inspect element. Now, if you don't see this inspect element, that's because you have not previously done the F12. If you do F12, that opens up our developer pane. And when you do that, the first time it'll tell you that you can now right click anywhere on the page and do the inspect element or view source. So I'm going to go to the inspect element here, and this is going to once again open up the elements and the console window where I can look at the HTML. And sure enough, here we are. Here is my comment. One line goes here, another line goes here. Now, these elements are laid out. Uh, the Edge browser here has given me a nicely formatted look where I can kind of drill down and see all the, the different elements inside of each element uh, and kind of tries to lay it out to make it easier for us to read. So even though my comment is on basically four lines here, it's presented in the console window as just simply one line. If I wanted to see the actual raw HTML as it's being sent to the browser, I could just right click here and say view source. And then from here, if I make this a little bit wider and make this move this over here, we can see this is the actual text. This is actually what's being sent. And there's my four different lines. So if you really, really, really want to see exactly what's being transmitted, you can go ahead and view the source and not do the inspect element when you right click there. OK, uh, and again, if you just want to open up that console window and you just want to take a look at the elements, all you have to do is hit F12 and that will open that up for you. And you could just click on the tabs up here at the top and that'll take you to various parts of the little developer, uh, the developer pane. OK, so that's not all that interesting at this point anymore. Now let's talk about comments again. So I've got this one comment in here. What if I wanted to leave a note for my fellow developer that says something like, don't forget to add the quote? OK, so don't forget to add the quote here. OK, so let's say that we wanted to do some sort of quote. Now, there is a special. Uh, there is a special set of tags that we could use. One is called the Q, and this is the quote element. So here I'm going to put Uncle Bob's statement. I'm going to say code never lies, comma, comments often do. Okay, and if I save this, and once again we go and refresh, okay, so there's our quote, code never lies, comments often do. We could see it's in quotes, right? Even though I didn't put the quotation marks around it, it has added those quotes. And notice, if you look really, really carefully here, you can see the quotation marks are uh, properly stylized as quotation marks, not just the, the, the double quotes that you might see if you were to just do uh, a quote like this and a quote like this, right? We have a little bit more stylization to that, uh, to that quote. OK, so now I've added Uncle Bob's quote, but now my comment is out, right? My comment is out of date. Don't forget to add the quote here. Well, I just added the quote. So now my comment is out of date. And if I forget to remove it, then somebody might come across this comment and say, well, what quote? I see a quote here. Is that the quote that he means? Or is there supposed to go be another quote there? And maybe, you know, in a year I come back and take a look at this code and I forget. And I don't remember, oh, was there supposed to be another, co another quote? Did I have somebody else that I wanted to quote? Uh, maybe it was Steve Wozniak or Steve Jobs or was it Martin Fowler? Who, would, who did I want to quote? Oh, darn it. And I didn't give myself enough detail in this comment for me to even know what I was supposed to do. So there's definitely some questionable practices that surround comments. And so you really, really need to be careful about when and how you use them. Now. Let's say, though, that I wanted to remove the quote just temporarily, but I didn't want to delete it. I don't want to delete the quote because I may not remember what the quote was. I put it in here, and I don't want to forget it, uh, and I'm not sure if maybe we're going to put it back in, so maybe we want to keep it, but I don't necessarily want to delete it, okay? So all of that's kind of going in through my head. What, do I want to remove it? I don't really want to delete it because then I'd forget it, and if I forget it, how am I going to know what the quote was, et cetera, et cetera. So 
what we can do is we can add the open angle bracket exclamation point and then the double hyphens and then the closing double hyphen and closing angle bracket. And I can take this and put it at the end of our quote here. And now notice that the quote itself has been commented out. So if we save this and do another refresh, my quote has disappeared as far as what's seen on the page. But of course, over here, if we did a refresh, and I forget exactly where the refresh button is here. If we do it, do it though, uh, is it under div? Where'd it go, where'd it go? Here, let's do this. I'm just gonna do a hard refresh. Open that up. And I'll, we'll do view source, that's gonna be better. Okay, so if we go and view the source and take a look at what's in here, Let's move this all the way over. There we go. So now we can see that there's the quote and it's being commented out. And even though the code is there, because it's being commented out, we don't see it on the screen. And so if I do decide, oh, yep, that was definitely the right quote. Let's go ahead and put it back in. Then I can just remove this from out of here and save it once again. And when we do a refresh, there's Uncle Bob's quote. Now I'm gonna give you a nice little tip here with the Visual Studio Code Editor that if there is a particular line of code that you want to comment out, all you have to do is put your cursor over that line. So my, my blinking cursor there, right? It's right in front of my quote. And if I hold the control key down and press the forward slash, which is the same key as the question mark, that will automatically add the commenting out of that particular line. And if I wanna comment out multiple lines, so let's say I wanna take out this whole PRE, all I have to do is highlight it. So this is all code that I wanna comment out. Once again, if I hit control forward slash, that will comment out all of those lines. And that is really, really handy because then I can select as much or as little of the code that I wanna comment out as, as I want and save it, refresh, and now that preformatted text is gone. Special thanks to these members who've signed up and become members of Programming Made Easy. Your contributions help the channel grow and I really appreciate it. If you would also like to be a member, all you have to do is click on the join button either on my channel or below this video. Now, unfortunately, some of you may not be able to see that join button because you're in a country that doesn't have it available. That's okay. Thanks for thinking of me anyway. Thank you.